Can I have your full name, please? Rupa Relia Parth Jerambai. And your date of birth? 29th November 1994. And the course that you will be studying at LSBU? Master of Civil Engineering at LSBU University. Are you alone in the room? Sorry. Are you alone in the room? Yeah, I alone. Can you just move around your camera to show me that there is no one else in the room? Sure. I hope it's it's OK. Yeah, thank you, and I appreciate you taking the time to speak to me today. This interview is being conducted as part of the university's precast process. During the precast process, we perform various checks to ensure an applicant meets all of the student visa requirement before assigning a CAS. These checks include reviewing financial evidence, supporting documents, and assessing an applicant's genuine intentions to study on the course. This interview is part of those checks. The interview will last approximately 15 to 20 minutes. You should also not be using any notes during this interview. We ask that you provide detailed answer to the questions as we will not be using prompts. I will be taking notes as you speak, so please speak clearly and bear with me if I ask you to repeat some answers. If you have any questions before the interview or at the end, please feel free to ask. Okay, no problem. Thank you, ma'am. So how are you today? Fine, everything fine. I'm just yeah, go ahead. Yes, everything fine. I am ready for the interview. All right, I'm just going to ask you a few questions to get to know you better. What was your favorite subject in school or in your previous course? My favorite subject is uh, in my previous course is uh, highway engineering. Highway engineering is a branching from civil engineering that involves uh, uh, planning, uh, then uh, construction, operation, maintenance of uh, roads, uh, uh, bridges, and tunnels, and also involves the uh, effective and safe transportation system of uh, goods and people. Why did you find the subject more interesting? Other, uh, I like the water engineering also. Why did you find uh, these subjects more interesting? Because uh, in this uh, water engineering subject, there are many problems in the current scenario. Uh, in a seepage and a very building collapse from ground floor. So it's a very difficult to its solution. It's a very difficult. So in this subject, I wanted to study in deeply so I can help the uh, government or any companies. Have you studied in the UK before? No, I have not studied any time. Can you give me a summary of your previous studies in home country? Yes, of course. I have completed a secondary and higher secondary education from uh, Surat. And after, after I have completed my Bachelor of Civil Engineering from uh, Gujarat Technological University with a 7.65 CGPA. In this uh, course, I have studied basics of uh, environment engineering, uh, irrigation engineering, structural engineering, harbor and airport engineering, railway engineering, structural engineering, um, surveying, town planning, concrete technology, and uh, many projects. And uh, also in uh, last semester, we did complete the uh, village project under the Vishwakarma Yojana. When when did you finish your uh, SSC, HSC and uh, 
bachelor of civil engineering and SSC. Uh, yeah and how much have you scored ssc i have completed in uh, 2010 is uh, a uh, 83 percentage and uh, hsc is completed in 2012 is a uh, 66 percentage and uh, uh, 7.65 cgpa in bachelor of civil engineering in uh, 2017 what was your last qualification level my last qualification is a bachelor of civil engineering when did you finish your last course 2017 what have you been doing since you finished your last course after bachelor of civil engineering i work as a site engineer and right now also i work as a site engineer in a jnp construction why have you decided to return to full time studies now i have decided uh, during uh, covid pandemic i lost my job in 2020 so i went to africa for 2 uh, years and uh, i returned back to my home country as my job contract got over then at that time during my work experience i realized that uh, i am not able to uh, get further progression in my career so i should uh, study further so this will help me to boost my career so i uh, thought uh, study further is to my for for my future prospect uh, very good what course have you applied for at lsbu i have course applied for master of civil engineering this is this course is a advanced version of what i studied earlier uh, master of civil engineering develops for a civil, uh, ambitious civil and structural engineering developers and uh, this this course dev- builds the technical and professional abilities needed to contribute to civil engineering the program equips with an uh, advanced uh, advanced knowledge bases in a variety of topics ranging from uh, Uh, advanced uh, structure engineering advanced structure design uh, soil structure engineering finite element and soil analysis uh, stress analysis highway engineering and operation railway engineering and asset management and uh, water engineering according to my site experience uh, bachelor of civil engineering knowledge falls short so i uh, thought uh, further study uh, after this study Uh, i i will have better opportunity job opportunity in many fields like uh, consulting civil engineer site engineer uh, geotechnical engineer uh, construction project manager construction material engineer so on could you give me some specific details about the course at lsb any specific modules in our course that made you choose us yes i already tell about highway engineering is a branching of civil engineering is a very famous uh, for our india also in the future because at the present in india there are many problem of highway and water uh, in many places so i wanted to study in this subject uh, and there was only at one lsb university that could guide me properly in both this subject uh, so i prefer lsb university Uh, highway engineering as i already tell you is a branching of civil engineering and uh, that involves uh, operation uh, planning operation construction uh, maintenance of uh, uh, roads bridges and tunnels and also effective and safe transportation of uh, people and goods any other modules that made you choose us Uh, no i don't know more about uh, any other modules i uh, little bit uh, about highway engineering and water engineering because i want to deeply study in both this subject more
Did you consider any other universities in the UK or anywhere else? Yes, I have selected LSB University among the three universities. These three universities are LSB University, Second Hertfordshire University, and uh, uh, University of East London. LSB University has third rank in teaching quality in the UK. Uh, and uh, also, top 801 to 1000 universities globally by QS World Ranking 2023. And the guardian ranking of LSBU is uh, 96 in uh, 2023. And LSBU has, has been awarded silver for its uh, teaching excellence under the government of UK. And uh, LSBU has specialism in particular aspect of civil engineering like uh, structural engineering, highway engineering, railway and water uh, transport. And uh, after this uh, course completion is a very better future for my uh, and as I already tell about uh, highway, highway engineering and water engineering in India's problem. So I choose LSB University that could guide me properly in both this subject and other university uh, have not that module. So I choose LSB University. Hello. Why did you choose LSB as compared to any other university? Because in any other university, I tell about uh, water engineering and highway engineering. These both subjects not available in his university. So I choose LSB University. Bec what do you plan to do once you finish your studies at LSBU? After my course completion of a Master of Civil Engineering, my plan and my intention is return back to my country home, uh, India, and uh, take up a position in a engineering firm. And there are many job opportunity, opportunities in well reputed companies uh, of India like uh, uh, LNT, uh, Reliance Infrastructure, Hindustan Construction, Reliance Infrastructure, Hindustan Construction, and uh, JNP construction. Because the cost of studying this program in the UK is so high, what are the benefits of you studying this course in relation to your future plans? Sorry, <coughs> because, excuse me. <laughs> Because the cost of studying this program in the UK is so high, what are the benefits of you studying this course in relation to your future plans? No, this, my program uh, expense is not more high. Is uh, only 13,900 13, pound. Uh, in other universities, uh, I sur survey out, up around uh, USA and Australia also. Uh, that uh, same course fees is around $60,000. So I choose uh, LSBU and UK. Do you know how much your tuition fees are? My tuition fees is after uh, 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 13,900 pounds after scholarship. And how much scholarship have you got? 3,000 pound. Do you know how much money you will need while you are studying in London for your living cost? Hello, sorry. Do you know how much money you will need while you are studying in London for your living cost? Yes, it's a 1,334 pound per month. Need for my study with uh, accommodation and everything. Please give me an idea idea of the budget you will need for food and other expenses. OK, uh, yes, it's uh, around 600 to 700 pounds for my accommodation. Uh, food cost can be uh, 200 pounds per month. Uh, mobile recharge and Internet uh, it can be uh, 70 pounds per month. 
ट्रांसपोर्टेशन चार्ज कैन बी हंड्रेड पाउंड पर मंथ एंड माय एग्जाम एक्सपेंसेस एंड स्टेशनरी बूस्ट इट्स कैन बी हंड्रेड पाउंड पर मंथ एंड हंड्रेड पाउंड फॉर विजिट अ न्यू प्लेसेस इन लंडन आल्सो सो इट्स अराउंड थर्टीन हंड्रेड पाउंड पर मंथ how do you plan to fund or pay for your studies i funding my parents will be funding throughout my term at university and also i have some savings so also i i i going to be use that money also my father is sponsoring me most of fund uh, so it's a uh, complete Are you ready to provide proof of your uh, father's income? Yes. My father, my father has their own big business of uh, all type of insurance service, and he is a doctor by profession. So also practice as a doctor, and he has many properties. So by doing some deals, income comes from that too. And my father's total income is around thirty two lakhs per year. is if i converted into gdp is around 30000 per year and how much savings do you have i have savings 4 lakh 50000 rupees you have any other sources of funds that you would like to use while you are studying in uk no any bank all savings no no any bank bank credits are uh, all i my father is sponsoring me so it's uh, i am not any issue so my father is all thing parents my parents all things complete Do you have any savings in bank that you would like to use while you are studying in UK? Yes, I have savings. My my savings and my father also have has spare savings many rupees. So I will use that money also. How much is that? Is around twenty uh, eight lakhs total. Are you planning to work to help fund your studies? Sorry. Are you planning to work to help fund your studies? No, I don't work it uh, in London because uh, I want to study right now. And uh, I after I study, then I will be coming in India. So it's I not uh, need for money that uh, from in London. Right now, not any planning for working. Do you have any dependents accompanying you to the UK? No, I am not planning to take my wife as a dependent uh, because uh, she will be take care of my parents as in my absence. And it's uh, just a matter of one year, so I don't think it going to be any issue. hello have you ever previously applied for any visas to the uk or anywhere else no i have never applied for any visas in other country or uk have you ever previously applied for any visas to the uk or any other country no i never applied for any visa 
in a other country or UK? Never applied. All right, in your previous conversation, uh, I remember you mentioning. You went any to visa, uh, yeah, in any visa means uh, study visa, no, but uh, in Africa, no, in we visit visitor visa. It's visitor visa. We going Africa for work. So have you applied previously for any visas? Yes, yes, applied at Africa. Was this visa successful? Yes, it's successful. What it's was the purpose permit. of the visa? What was the purpose of the visa and how long did you stay there for? I will stay at uh, two years uh, because uh, during COVID pandemic, I lost my job. So I got an opportunity to work at Africa. So I going, uh, so I went there and work as a uh, shop manager. And as my contract uh, got over, then come back to my own country. When was that? Can you tell me the approximate time or year? Sorry. Sorry. Can you tell me the approximate time or year? Uh, you, you stayed in Africa. Oh, it's uh, around uh, two years, uh, less than two years. All right. And which year was that? Sorry. Which year was that? In Malawi, Limbi. No, which year? Uh, in uh, which year what? is uh, 2021? 2000 January 2021 to August uh, 2022. Where are you planning to live while in the UK? Please tell me about your accommodation. I am planning to accommodation at a uh, universe uh, accommodation which uh, that is provided by the university, uh, which is uh, uh, in uh, Elephant and Castle, London, and its uh, monthly rental is 680 pound. Uh, and it is uh, ju just nearby the university, uh, almost uh, 10 minute walking distance. Which student hall will you be living? Do you know the place, the accommodation place name? Sorry. In which student hall will you be living if you're opting for university accommodation? Yes, uh, right now I not uh, applied for any fixed accommodation place, but I search only because uh, it's a fee not refundable. So after my visa process, I booked the accommodation. I just want to take this opportunity to highlight the importance of attendance at LSPO. If you are granted a visa, you will be expected to attend all of your online and face to face sessions. We monitor students attendance and if you fail to attend classes, LSPO will not hesitate to withdraw you from the program and report your visa to the UKVI. In this case, you would have to leave the UK immediately. Before you consider applying for a visa, please consider your responsibilities and make arrangements to engage fully in your course. OK, thank you. ma'am. So what are your plans for after this interview? Now I wait in for fast level and then visa process. How many days to take uh, this uh, fast letter? Can you All right, thank you for taking the time to speak to me today. I will let the CAS panel know that the interview has been conducted. They will be in touch with you as soon as possible if they require any other information or documentation from you. Do okay. you have any questions? 
no you, i ask you this cast letter is how many days to coming there are no specific okay. timelines uh, okay if any if the cast panel needs any other documents from your side they will be in touch with you along with the interview results uh, and then finally once they go through all your documents and uh, the interview results together then they will issue the cast so there are okay. no specific timelines okay no thank you ma'am all right thank you and you okay. have a good rest of your day yeah bye good luck thank you ma'am